This is a new frontier, my sexually repressed friend. Our chance to finally move up the social food chain. In today's Abandoned video, we attempt to sneak inside an abandoned college in South Wales, most famous for its Netflix occupation in recent years during filming of Sex Education. Since the recording process ended, there are still recognisable iconography and props remaining from the show, as well as dated architecture original from the property's long-time use as an educational building, built in the early 20th century. Join us as we briefly explore the school and find out that there is a reason its interior has been kept concealed until now. That is a problem, and probably means we're not going to be spending much more time in here. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. Last week we asked the question how would you escape the situation we ended up in whilst exploring the factory. We had some interesting responses but have selected this one from Dr Janal who suggested using a distraction technique. We have always had this in mind and hopefully someday we will get the chance to try a method like this. This week we are asking would you be interested in coverage of more film sets, abandoned or not? Let us know what you think to possibly feature in our next upload. Earlier this year, we attempted to infiltrate the abandoned campus, thinking it would be best to visit in an off-season for filming. On approach, it was clear that our assumptions were accurate, meaning that the site had many security measures, including people on site. The notorious front facade dates back to the beginning of the 1900s when it was built as a college. More modern developments were added in the 80s, but these have recently been demolished, leaving the imposing main premises unscathed. It served as an education centre for almost a century, before closing in 2016 following a university consultation. Netflix had utilised the derelict grounds as the fictional Moordale High School in their free season show Sex Education shortly afterwards. As viewers of the show, we thought it would be really interesting to wander through the property ourselves and compare it to memorable scenes. <laughs> Using a direct approach to the building past the demolition work at the rear, we found an entrance quickly and slipped inside, expecting alarms within the complex. See you there, one in there. Okay. Don't think it'll be affected by light because I've just done it. They know obviously where the stone I have a feeling these these cameras will be in like random rooms, so be careful. Yeah. And every doorway and shit. Oh my god, it's fucking so long. Yeah. I should see the light though, is there any light here? Morning light, and there's a red, it's a red light up there, it's a fire yeah, That'll thing. be fire. Mm -hmm. Probably just, I think it'd be funny if we set them off. Well, I think we're going to end up setting them off. So. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be on the ground floor. Oh, like, um, uh, what? I'm dead. I'm dead. So we just triggered a sensor. Did it go red? Yeah, agree. Sure. Yeah. Probably less. Hurt. 
we had successfully found a route into the school corridors, passing a few cameras that seemed off. So this would have been used. You can, I remember him coming down these stairs actually, and she's seen. Not good. Don't think we have too much time in here. You can see the old signs. It's a really nice corridor too. The building itself is really nice, disregarding that it's become a film set. Check this out in here. And a great use for stained glass. It was surreal to see areas that we remembered from the show, where characters Otis, Eric and their classmates had acted not long ago, and millions had watched on Netflix. In addition, much of the iconography of the imaginary Moordale was still depicted on the walls, unfortunately coated in recent graffiti. Yeah, they definitely... I got to feel unnerved walking past. They did a good job of creeping us out when we came in there. There's more old signs. This here is a old canteen. I'm not sure if it was used in the show. But I quite like the light fittings. Everything appeared a little too good to be true until that is a problem, and probably means we're not going to be spending much more time in here. Another really nice stained glass example, and a decent staircase too, a winding banister. I remember scenes in this one. With the alarm blaring for short bursts, we picked up the pace of the exploration. It was apparent that someone would probably be joining us soon and were likely to not be impressed with our reasons. That's the staircase with the logo on. All this text down here. Another one here. I remember this little scene. I think it was in the latest season. There was up there. The letters are coming off. Besides the details left behind from the show, we are also noticing exceptional woodwork and arch designs in the Art Deco school, so it is understandable why it was chosen for filming. Ironically, it is also sad that it had to close in the first place, and doesn't see the school life it receives in the show all year round. This one had power. Interesting lights.
There's more set here. See all the signs they put up. Mm, someone set off the alarm again. That must be to number 20. But yeah, this is really cool. This specific bathroom was really interesting to see. Watchers of the show might notice it from all three seasons, where it was featured equally as a lady's toilet. With the signs still attached to the tiled walls, it showcases the attention to detail location designers will go to. Here's another set for a holiday package store. You can see they were working on something here. It's like a coffee shop. Um, but pretty sure this was something that was a part of the film. This, however, with the Welsh writing was not. And this is just a canteen for the school. One of the only glimpses from the Welsh College's occupation at the property, this canteen still had an intact kitchen, surrounded by film sets for a variety of places. I'm pretty sure this was the set for the gelato shop that Maeve worked at. I think. Barely anything left of it though. Ah, this says hospital. As if it was another set. Not looking too hospitally though. I wonder if this was for another show or Hospital scenes in sex education. No, is this while passing this room? There'll be fake bones for a set. These are demolition papers, though. Blueprints for the site. It's even one of these, so it was key that this room was used to plan out the school's demolition. Last year, the facility was bought by a leading developer for over £5 million in order to knock down most of the campus's structures to build hundreds of homes on the land. Thankfully, the iconic structure will be protected with its Grade 2 listing, but will witness its accompanying blocks crumble to the ground. Season 4 of Sex Education began filming last month, but at a new location to fit with the plot, also because the permit at the old school had expired. Therefore, despite the premises not getting demolished any time soon, it is uncertain what will occur within it over the next few years. Whilst leaving, we came into contact with some annoyed guards who escorted us off-site, threatening to ring the police. Luckily we had decided to leave the structure briskly, or this may have happened anyway, but we were able to see the highlights. Here are some of our photographs captured at the abandoned college. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page where we share images of our explorers months before they are seen on YouTube.
Thanks for watching. If you are interested in seeing more film sets on the channel, let us know. There are a few we have in mind. See you next time.